What do you think, Commander? It's a tough one. A ticklish situation at best. You want to do it, sir? All right. Stand clear. Stand back, Beasley. Keep your eye on the ball. <laughs> I want that man. That will take some doing, sir. That's the morning mail plane, and you know those guys. Neither rain, sleet, nor gold. Please, Trotter, Trotter, Trotter. Save that limp wit for the officer's club folly. What's on your mind? Uh, well, this just came for you from uh, communications, sir. Uh, uh, Trotter, how many times have I told you to have these things decoded before you give them to me? Uh, well, that is decoded, sir. Those are naval abbreviations. Yes, well, well, all right, wing it, wing it. <laughs> From the expression on Trotter's face, I'll give you odds that whatever it is will take five years off my life. You want to try for ten? <laughs> News World Magazine is sending a correspondent here to do a big story on our wonderful waves. <laughs> what? <laughs> what have I done to deserve this? Now Lieutenant Morgan and her insufferable gobets will blab it to the press. The Captain Bly here has mistreated them. Well, that they will, sir. Uh, it seems that the News World correspondent is the famous Bill Larson, and, uh, <laughs> well, are you ready for this, sir? Go ahead, go ahead. I think it'll be worse than what's already happened. <laughs> well, it turns out that uh, Bill Larson and Lieutenant Morgan are close personal friends. <laughs> you, you, you were wrong, sir. I mean, that is a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll just take the happy news to the waves, sir. Uh, no, just a minute, Trotter. I will personally deliver this myself. And remember, not a word to Lieutenant Morgan about this in the meantime. Aye, aye, sir. And if you don't mind a word of advice, sir, that putt is going to break the left about six inches. <laughs> you know, Beasley, I still may be able to salvage something from this intolerable situation, but it requires a complete change in tactics. When the field in bloody disarray, gates breached and cruel siege done, then will proud head bow to rise again one day. <laughs> and that is beautiful, sir. That's just beautiful. What does it mean? If you can't lick them, join them. <laughs> Stand clear, Beasley. Keep your eye on the ball. times when I have been <laughs> a little rough on you and your waves, impatient, demanding. Nasty. Uh, accurate. That's a bit harsh, but accurate. Uh, now, what I'm trying to say with this little munchkin, and I hope, Lieutenant, this will merely be the first of many, is that I am planning to turn over a new leaf. Well, I don't mean to repeat myself, sir, but... Uh... What's up, Roger? It's quite simple. Let's drink to peace in our time. Well, I'll, all right, I'll drink to that. Then let's drink to peace in our time. Oh, uh, 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 Ensign, peace in our time. Uh, Beasley, uh, reporting, sir, and, and I come bringing wonderful tidings. Oh, well, Beasley, what could they be? Uh, uh, the Island. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, well, um, it, it seems that this uh, war correspondent from uh, News World magazine is coming this afternoon to do a story on the motor pool. News World? That'd be Bill Larson. He's their correspondent in the South Pacific. Uh, uh, his name is Bill Larson. He's their correspondent in the South Pacific. <laughs> I, I, I take it, Lieutenant, that you, uh, that you know this. Or, or what, what's his name, Limpson? Larson. <laughs> To know him is to loathe him, sir. Oh, well, then you're, you're very close friends. Uh, 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 what a surprise, huh, Commander? Please, 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 let's not get carried away. If, 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 please, if, please. Oh, I, I take it that, uh, I take it that you and this Larson chap are not exactly au rapport, eh? He's impossible, sir. 
I worked with the News World before the war, and... Well, if you don't mind, it's rather personal. Oh, uh, well, now, uh, listen, uh, you can tell us, Lieutenant, because, uh, after all, we're family. <laughs> all right, Cousin Beasley, if you must know, he's a wolf. In New York, he was known as the Wolf's Wolf. Oh, how interesting. Now, if you'll excuse me, since he is coming this afternoon, I'd like to uh, batten down a few hatches and prepare to uh, repel borders. <laughs> batten down, batten down, Lieutenant. Well, Commander, it looks like you just blew another one of your fiendish schemes. He doesn't even like Larson. Beasley, there's one thing I will say for you. You are incredibly stupid. <laughs> Don't you see, man? This is our opportunity to get a bad press for our four dear waves. I'm afraid I don't understand. <laughs> well, it's quite simple. If Lieutenant Morgan's animosity is a thorn in Mr. Larson's aside, then our next step is quite obvious. Righto, sir. Uh, what is it? <laughs> Cultivate the thorn. <laughs> Backwater Base is, is just delighted to have you here. It's quite an honor, Mr. Larson. Uh, you're a real legend on Ranakai, uh, Ranaker. <laughs> uh, uh, your little friend, Ann Morgan, <laughs> has been telling some real knee slappers about you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? What's she been saying? Oh, about the old days on News World, you know. Is it true that she learned judo trying to beat you off at the water cooler? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Commander, tell him about the great one that she got off the, the other night at the uh, officer's club. Which one was that, Beasley? She's got a million of them. <laughs> you, you know, uh, uh, the one of about the time that Mr. Larson tried to pick up Lieutenant Ann Morgan at the beach and she kicked sand in his face. <laughs> yes, sir, I will say that Ann Morgan is a very attractive girl, but no girl is worth uh, killing yourself over. You, you know, I'm glad you changed your mind about that. Oh, so she told you I was going to kill myself over it, did she? Yeah. Well, just because she has that red hair and those deep green eyes. Long lashes. Old red lips. <laughs> but I don't think I ever told her I was going to kill myself. Gee, News World. Pictures and text by Bill Larson. Hey, this could be the start of a whole new career for me. A large crescent rent, please. You know, I hate to be a wet blanket, Roberta, but News World is a news magazine. You mean they don't have a centerfold? Oh, sure they do. But it's always a map. <laughs> when I want a screwdriver, I'll ask for a screwdriver. A large crescent wrench, please. Hey, that must be him. <laughs> this is where I might find Lieutenant Ann. Hi. A large crescent wrench, please. <laughs> If you're looking for Lieutenant Morgan, Mr. Larson, sir, her office is right over there, Mr. Larson. <laughs> sir? <laughs> oh, gee, he's cute. I wonder if we made a good impression. Oh, sure we did. Look how long he hung around. <laughs> oh, we should get a lot of the gold brick. <laughs> it's uh, nice to see you again, Bill. <laughs> Haven't changed a bit. Down, boy. Well, so much for small talk. As long as I have a reputation of being a mad lover, I might as well live up to it. Don't come any closer. Now look, Ann, baby, if you want me to write a nice story about these little ways of yours, it's going to cost you. Oh, here it comes. Have dinner with me tonight. But, but uh, that's blackmail. That's right. You know you're very quick. Oh, I have to be. What if I refuse? Then I'll write a story about this little experimental group of yours that get them yanked back stateside like a yo-yo. I see. Suddenly I'm hungry. What time's dinner? <laughs> Shall we say about 80-ish at my quarters? I should have a nice little story knocked out by 70-ish. great -ish. You ask your questions and take your pictures, and I'll see you at 8. <laughs> see you at 8. Come in. Get this on the morning plane, boy. Ooh. Sorry, Commander. I thought you were the messenger. Oh. Well, Bill, uh, this must be some story. It packs quite a wallop. Well, I'll say this is one assignment I really got my teeth into. I gave Lieutenant Ann Morgan the works. Good, 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 good. I, I, I mean, I have to censor this. But I believe in freedom of the press. And I wouldn't think of cutting one delicious word. Oh. Is, is it any wonder 
that we all love this man. <laughs> if you have uncovered incompetence or inefficiency, you can depend on me not to suppress it, even if it turns out to be four well-meaning little ways. <laughs> now, see, see he, he, he talks tough, Bill, but in here, he's all mush. Now, listen, listen, listen. this is what I mean by hard-hitting journalism. From the brackish backwaters of the Pacific, a tiny island named Ranneker, comes a story of four courageous, resourceful, dedicated young waves doing a job that may well change minds in the Pentagon about where women can serve. Oh, it's a great crew, Commander. You ought to be proud of it. I thought you were going to get back at Ann Morgan for starting all those rumors. Well, all I can say, gentlemen, is we've decided to let bygones be bygones. In fact, if you'll excuse me, I'm expecting Lieutenant Ann Morgan for dinner in a few minutes. She's really rolling today, sir. This is her second let bygones be bygones meal. What was that? Oh, nothing. nothing. Uh, no, 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 I'll be sure and get this on the mail plane first thing in the morning. Uh, Bill, are you sure this is a story you want to send? Quite sure. Quite sure. <laughs> If there is one thing I can't stand, Beasley, is a man who won't hold a grudge for a few hours. <laughs> oh, Lieutenant, won't you reconsider? This is way above and beyond the call of duty, just for a silly magazine story. <laughs> Don't worry, Molly, it's just a dinner. Yeah, that's what one lion said to the other lion when they saw the slaves in the Coliseum. <laughs> All right, if it'll make you feel any better, if I get in a jam, I'll set up a flare. Oh, well, good luck, ma'am. Oh, and, and remember that if you've got your back to the wall, there's always the magic words. Magic words? Marry me. <laughs> Marry me? Those are the words that keep the wolf from your door. <laughs> See, maybe that's why I've been scaring everybody off. I talk too much. <laughs> well, wish me luck in a fast track. Good, Good luck, luck in a fast, fast track. track. <laughs> So much for dinner. Oh, how about another one of those marvelous chops? <laughs> Sorry, Ann, you ate the last one. I was hoping a dozen would tide us over. Oh, what about dessert? You ate dessert between the ninth and the tenth chop. That's right. Uh, coffee. I just love to have some coffee. <laughs> Why don't we get rid of some of this glare? <laughs> Come on, Ann, baby. Did we make a deal or didn't we? We did. Did I keep my part of the bargain? Did I write a nice story? You did. Thanks a bunch. Then you keep your part of the bargain. Well, I did. I had dinner with you, didn't I? So, arrivederci, sayonara, and uh, good night. No, wait a minute. You're not getting out of here unkissed. <laughs> Now, now, Willie, Willie, ease off. Now, what's the matter, Ann, baby? You know I've always been crazy about you. Now, now, Bill, 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 please. Now, stop. All right, Wolfman, I'll call your bluff. Come on, baby, give. Marry me. You know you have a thing to be the same as... What'd you say? Marry me. You know, that's just what I thought you said. Well? Well, I mean, I, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, you hit me pretty hard with that nuptial bit. Well, I don't want you to take the fatal step when you're not really ready, so, uh, good night. Now, hold it, Mama. I don't know whether you're bluffing or not, but I'm calling. I accept your proposal. You mad, impetuous little girl. Oh, no, no, wait, no. wait, wait for what? As long as we're engaged, we might as well get to know each other better. <laughs> And, baby, it made me the happiest man in the world. Me and my big kissable mouth. Engaged. I can't believe it. Are you sure? I got it directly from Bill Larson, and they are going to be married just as soon as the war is over. Commiseration, Strutter. I know how you felt about Lieutenant Morgan. Oh, I, I'm, I'm okay, sir. Uh, there is one thing. In Harry Carey, do you stab yourself and then go down on your knees, or is it the other way around? <laughs> the commander, if, if he's going to commit Harry Carey, he's going to follow things up. If you go down on your knees before you stab yourself, obviously you're not out of Beasley. Ann Morgan is up to something, and I know it's not marriage. She's got to be bluffing. She just... She... 
Oh, of course. Of course. That's how she got Larson to write a favorable story. <laughs> well, sir, it looks like she outfoxed you this time. <laughs> On the contrary, Beasley, this time I believe she has outfoxed herself. Suppose I were to arrange that they be married tomorrow. It's <laughs> very romantic, sir, and I, I am a great believer in short engagements. <laughs> yes, it is to itself. The moment she marries him, she will be out of the waves and on her way home. Well, break out the old shoes and rice, Beasley, and remember, <laughs> we're not gaining a war correspondent. We are losing a wave. <laughs> It's all my fault. You had to give her two magic words. Oh, Skipper, please, you can't marry him just for us. Don't worry, shipmates. I'm not married yet. I'm just engaged. And I'm only engaged until that mail plane goes over with Bill's story. I don't get it. But you're beautiful. <laughs> as soon as that plane is winging its way stateside, I can break the news to lover boy Larson. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she radiant? Why, it's as though you... Knew something already, you little minx. What's up, sir? Call me Uncle Roger. Here we go again. All right, what's up, Uncle Roger? Well, this morning, I have cut through 40 miles of red tape. I bullied admirals and generals. I've set little Ranakai Island right on his ear. And now, everything is set. Set? Set for what? Tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. You, my little hasty heart, will be Mrs. Bill Larson. No, wait. It's all arranged. The chaplain is set. And, and, and you're all going to be in the wedding party. I mean, a flower girl, bridesmaid, maid of honor. Of course, they're all tentative assignments. Yeah. Well, now I must run. Uh, he must run. Oh, by the way, I've sent four parachutes out to my tailor. The dresses will be ready. A little no, hold, hold it, hold it. Now, I don't mean to be a party poop, Uncle Roger, but a woman has a right to change her mind. And I've changed my mind. The engagement is off. Oh, that's unfortunate. Bill Larson is going to be very upset. <laughs> As a matter of fact, he may be so upset that he will rewrite this whole story. You mean it didn't go? Affirmative or negative. It just didn't go. <laughs> But you can't do that. I, I mean, this has to meet a deadline. Oh, but it will. It will, my dear. It leaves on tomorrow morning's plane, directly after the wedding ceremony. <laughs> now, I am personally going to cater the reception in my own lavish fashion. You do think of everything. I try. <laughs> well, as the saying goes, see you in church. <laughs> oh, sir, uh, uh, may I take the harmony? <laughs> <laughs> Getting out of the bachelor rat race. No more uh, late hours. No more coming and going as you please. <laughs> You're doing a smart thing settling down. Coming home night after night to the same old house, the same old kiss, the same frayed old dressing gown, the same wonderful routine day after day after day. <laughs> Sounds great. A guy would have to be crazy not to give up anything for a guy like Ann. I think. <laughs> Red dog to Susie Q. Red dog to Susie Q. Uh, I, I'm standing by at the airstrip as uh, ordered. Uh, uh, over. All, all right now, Susie Q. I'll go through it one more time. What do you do the minute I call you and tell you the wedding is over? Well, I'll cry, sir. I know it. I always do. <laughs> now then, does the mail plane pilot understand that if he takes off before you give the signal, he will be shot down? <laughs> Good. Good. All right, stand by, Susie Q. I'll be in touch. <laughs> Shoot, I ever saw. Yeah, and it's nice to know at the last minute you can always bail out. <laughs> I won't you reconsider? This whole thing is kooky. All right, girls, knock it off. 
Now, I have absolutely no intention of getting married. That is, if I can help it. Now, the plan is to get that mail plane to take off before the wedding, so there doesn't have to be a wedding. Come in. Skipper, we got big troubles. You're in the right place. What's up, Lotnick? Adrian's got Beasley staked out the airstrip of the walkie-talkie. And the plane with Larson Sturry on it won't take off till the wedding's over. And Beasley waves it on its way. Oh, boy, now I am in trouble. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you say Beasley? That's right. Roberta, front and center. <laughs> this time, I've got two magic words for you. Operation Beasley. <laughs> and the bride and groom are set. Uh, you understand, Chaplin, we're using the abbreviated version from Dearly Beloved, cut right to the ring. Cut right to the ring? Don't forget, there's a war on. Red Dog to Suzy Q. Red Dog to Suzy Q. The players have taken the field, and we are approaching kickoff time. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Roger, uh, the plane is standing by for my signal. Now, uh, don't worry, sir. You've got her this time, or I'll eat my hat. <laughs> uh, over and out, fat dog. Uh, I mean, a uh, 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 red dog. <laughs> hi. Uh, hi. Oh, hi. Uh, 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 what, what, what are you uh, uh, doing here? Oh, well, I come all undone at weddings. Uh. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, me? Oh, uh, well, well, well I, I, I'm just here to, uh, to, to, to see a dame take off. I, I, no, I, 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 mean, I mean a blonde. I, I, I mean a plane. That plane. There. Oh, that one over there? Hmm. Well, come on, let's wave it back. Oh, no, 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 uh, have you got the ring? The ring? The, the, the ring? What, what do you mean, the ring? Uh, Chaplin, what happened to everything I in between? Uh, Bill and I are kind of old-fashioned. We'd like the full ceremony, wouldn't we, Bill? Bill! Oh, yes. We certainly would. <laughs> You're my kind of people. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the presence of these people. You mean to say that I can't give that plane one little teeny weeny wave goodbye. No, 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 no. Just yet. Oh. I, I, I'll tell you when. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 this button makes your arms go up. This button makes your arms go down. <laughs> Larson, take Ann Morgan for your lawful wedded wife. I do. And do you, Ann Morgan, take William Larson for your lawful wedded husband? Him? And marry him? Well, to tell you the truth, Chaplin, I'd like to think about it a little bit. What? I I'm sorry, Bill, but the wedding's off. You mean it? Yes, that's the way it has to be. Now, Ann Morgan, you've just made me the happiest man in the world. <laughs> it's a nice story. Thanks, Max, for the extra copies. The girls are appreciated. Yeah, well, blessings on all you little celebrities. You know, uh, Bill Larson wrote me he'd like to swing back to do a sequel. That is, if I make him one promise. Well, what promise? No more weddings. <laughs> That's my girl. How's the high command taking it? <laughs> what the devil are you doing? I'm eating my hat, sir, as agreed. Stop that immediately. Only a barbarian would eat it that way. Here, have some chutney. 